3D NAND scaling is all about adding layers, creating taller and taller devices. Let's start with a 96 layer 3D NAND device and go from there. To build this device, layers are deposited and channel holes are etched through the layers. Then, tungsten is deposited for word lines. As the 3D NAND stack gets taller, etching the channel hole becomes significantly more difficult. Beyond the 200 layer threshold, challenges emerge that require new deposition and etch solutions. For 3D NAND, one of the ways to add more layers is to build with a tiered approach using carbon plugs, allowing for a taller stack with more memory layers. Even though these stacks are only tens of microns thick, the stress they put on the wafer can cause it to bow by hundreds of microns. By depositing a stress compensating material on the backside, the wafer is flattened. To continue to increase bit density, the logic circuitry, or CMOS, is now bonded to the NAND wafer through the formation of additional copper lines and pads. As the layers become thinner with each node, resistance of the word lines becomes a challenge. This is addressed with a new material, molybdenum, which requires advanced atomic layer deposition technology to uniformly fill the thin word line openings. To add even more layers, the memory arrays can be bonded together, requiring more deposition and etch steps. The result is a structure with effectively more stories than five Empire State Buildings standing on top of each other, and even more in the future.